It's expected to be a landmark case. This week, the Supreme Court decided to take up Mississippi's 2018 ban on abortions of 15 weeks. Observers see this as the court's opportunity to reconsider Roe v. Wade that was decided back in 1973. The pro-life movement is optimistic, and for the same reason, pro-choice advocates are worried, given the Supreme Court's current 6-3 conservative majority. That's the view from 30,000 feet. Our two guests will bring us back to Earth. First, we talk to a legal historian who wrote the book on abortion law, and then to a pro-life advocate whose organization works on anti-abortion legislation. We have with us Mary Ziegler, professor of law at Florida State University College of Law and author of Abortion and the Law in America, Roe v. Wade to the Present. Mary, thank you for coming. So with the Supreme Court deciding to take up Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, it seems that certainly from the strong reaction we're seeing out there, that if the court does uphold Mississippi's law, it would unwind or at least start to unwind Roe v. Wade. I'd like you to help us understand why that potential is there. What are the legal principles that they'll be considering? Right. So uh, the law at issue in Dobbs is a ban on abortion at the 15th week of pregnancy. And the reason that's significant is because the court uh, the Supreme Court really ever since 1973 has said that there's a right to choose abortion before fetal viability, which usually comes uh, somewhere between the 22nd and the 24th week of pregnancy. Mississippi's law bans abortion at 15 weeks, which is by no uh, measurement after fetal viability. So if the Supreme Court is going to uphold this law, it's either going to have to invalidate all of Roe v. Wade and abortion rights, or at least the part about viability. And so either of those would be a really big deal when it comes to the future of abortion in the United States. And that's why there's been so much attention paid to this case. And so what's the actual legal principle? I know there were a few arguments that were put before the court, but it didn't take up all of them. What, what will it actually be looking at? So the, the question that the court agreed to hear is whether all pre-viability bans on abortion are unconstitutional. And so we're expecting, given the composition of this court, that the justices will say that at least some and potentially all pre-viability bans are acceptable. And so that would put it back at the state level. The states could decide what they want at that point? Right. If the, if the Supreme Court is to overturn Roe v. Wade, then the most likely outcome in the near term would be that states could do whatever they wanted. Um, it's worth noting that that wouldn't be the end of it. As much as you hear uh, pro-life or anti-abortion activists in the United States talking about Roe incessantly, that's really not the end game. The end game is uh, a nationwide abortion ban, whether that's imposed by the Supreme Court or through a constitutional amendment. And so if the Supreme Court were to overturn Roe v. Wade, we would expect to see abortion opponents back at the court asking the court to recognize something akin to a right to life. Be sure to watch the entire episode, now available exclusively at EpochTV.com, a new completely censorship-free premium subscription platform brought to you by The Epoch Times. See you there.